we all like being popular we all like making new friends and we want to feel wanted don't we i do i'm going to be talking about seven things that can make people dislike you in seconds and trust me all of these are going to make sense to you so just sit back relax and think about these seven things that i'm going to discuss in this video and find out if you are making any of these mistakes i can assure you if you take care of these simple seven things making new friends is not going to be that difficult anymore and your energy will be light and people will be more accepting towards you let's start with the point number 1 point number 1 is conversational narcissism we human beings have a habit of relating everything back to ourselves what happens is with some people they don't realize but they unconsciously relate everything back to themselves and they try to put the focus on themselves in a conversation imagine some friend of yours just tells you that you know i'm having such a tough time at office so i could not call you a proper genuine response would be oh i understand tell me is there anything you want to talk about can i make you feel better in any way but instead of saying that you go on to say oh yeah i can totally understand you know it has become so difficult for me as well it's something exactly going on with me in my office right now i don't even get time to eat you know it's so difficult these days something like this so what you're doing is you're bringing the focus of the conversation onto yourself instead of lending a proper ear to your friend instead of listening to them instead of empathizing with them what you are doing is you're showing a little bit a hint of narcissism which is not appreciated and most of the times people feel very hurt or unsafe around you the next time they are about to open up to you about something so if you want your energy to be light just make sure that you do not disrespect other person's feelings see sometimes it is okay to say that you know this is exactly what is happening with me you know that makes the other person feel that they are not alone in this trauma something is common and that is happening to him but if this is a habit bringing everything back to yourself relating everything back to yourself then this is going to repel people and you won't even realize but you will probably never be able to make friends uh, this could be a reason i don't have many friends <laughs> no no that's not true but yes there is always something that we are doing wrong if we are getting wrong vibes or wrong energy around people let's move on to point number 2 unwelcomed humor imagine somebody opens up to you about a situation in their life at that moment and they show their vulnerability to you vulnerability their weakness to you okay and you instantly make a joke about it maybe because you're not very comfortable in that conversation that may be so you're not very comfortable in that topic because of which you want to you know cushion it with humor but what happens is that the other person feels very unheard in that moment they feel hurt they feel disrespected they feel unsafe around you they feel that you know probably you're not the right person to share their secrets with or their infirmities with or their weaknesses now let me give you an example and that will make it very clear for you imagine somebody tells you that you know i'm having a very tough time in my relationship right now and instead of empathizing or showing sympathy towards them what you do is oh so you managed to do it again I remember what happened the last time you're probably trying to cheer them up and because of which you're throwing in some humor but be very careful when somebody is opening up about their vulnerability with you probably your humor is not welcomed in that moment understand the mood of the conversation understand the mood of the person what he's going through just give that person a proper ear understand what they have to say so be careful that you are a good listener no matter that person is close to you or they are not make sure that you understand the mood of the conversation before you respond or you react moving on to point number 3 and this is something very 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 common that i've observed a lot in my friends in my seniors in my subordinates everybody everybody makes this mistake just be very careful that you don't make this question cutting you ask a question and before the other person responds to you 
you answer it yourself. Why would you do that? Let the other person answer. Let me give you an example. Hey, would you be attending that party? And now, instead of waiting for the other person to respond to you, you're like, hey, would you be going to that party? I don't think we should go. Oh, let it be. I'm not gonna go. Something like this. Let them answer. You've asked a question. This is almost always frustrating. It's very frustrating. People do this to me. It puts me off. It's so frustrating. Please don't do this. Make sure that if you have asked a question, show some patience, listen to their answer before you barge in with your answer and cut your own question. Before you do that, show some patience, be a little more respectful. Moving on to point number four, instant aggression. This is something that I used to do and I realized quite late when people pointed out to me. And I think I am pointing this out to you. So you be aware that you don't do this to others. Somebody says something and you instantly react with a lot of aggression because you assume that they have some negative intent in their head. They wanted to hurt you. And so instantly you want to hurt them back and you take offense. When we react continuously like this, people start writing us off in their books. They are like, oh no, it's, you know, it's so scary to talk to her. It, let's not just, okay, avoid, avoid. People will build that kind of an attitude for you because they're just too scared of saying anything to you because it probably may be their natural discourse to um, crack a few jokes or to be a little light spirited. But the second they say something that is not in the right light with you, you react. And because of which they feel very insecure. They start feeling insecure around you and they don't want to be close to you. So it's okay to set boundaries, but it's wrong to assume a negative intent all the time. Give people some space. Next point on the list is teasing sensitive topics. We all are sensitive about something or the other. No matter how chill or light spirited we are, there is always something that can hurt us. Maybe something bad that's going on in our lives. Okay. Okay, I'll give you a little example and you'll understand easily. If somebody is going through a divorce, don't mention. If somebody is going through a struggle with their children, don't mention. At least don't mock about it. Don't crack a joke around it. Don't do that. You will severely impact your relationship. You're going to severely hurt that person. So just refrain. There is a possibility they might take your joke in a good spirit, but most chances are they will not, and it's going to sour your relationship with them. So it's better that you don't touch the sensitive topics. You know, when we are in a group of people, we love it when people laugh at our jokes, right? We want to be that center of attention, right? But in order to come up with such a joke, we might roast somebody unintentionally. We might hurt somebody in that process. So just to bring focus to yourself, just to make others laugh, make sure you don't hurt anybody. Okay. If you really like cracking jokes, crack a joke about something that is definitely untrue about them. Let me give you an example. Imagine making a joke of hair loss with a person who's bald. They may not like it because it is true. It's, it's, it's something that is associated to them very closely and they may be sensitive about it. Somebody who's all throughout a topper, college, university, everywhere, you could crack a joke on their intelligence because that is obviously not true. So cracking a joke on their intelligence will definitely not hurt them because everybody knows they're college toppers. So something like that. I hope you get the point. Let's move on to point number six. Most common mistake that a lot of people in our country make, and I guess abroad too, I don't know. But yes, we give a lot of free advice, unsolicited advice. The best way to do this, if you really want to offer a piece of your advice to somebody, 
Ask them if they need it. Ask them, can I advise you on something? Can I tell you something? Can I give you an advice? Ask them. If they say a yes, it is a choice they've made. And then they will feel in control if you give them an advice. But if you give unsolicited advice, most times it's not going to be welcomed and most times people might not like it. Okay, they might like it too, but this is just something that is sensitive. You need to be very careful when you're doing this. But yes, this is a mistake most people commit. You don't want to be one of those people. That's all the point here. So now we have the last one on the list, which is overstepping boundaries. Overstepping boundaries, I mean, maybe some dark humor. What do I mean by dark humor? Dark humor is something, it's humor for sure. It's jokes, it's comedy uh, relating to some taboo or something that is an issue with somebody, a concern, a problem that's going on in their lives. Don't overstep boundaries. If something is not okay with somebody, do not crack a joke about it. Don't overstep their boundaries. We don't like it when people do it to us, so we shouldn't do it to others. If something is not going fine with me, I would not want to mention or discuss that in a casual setting, in a casual party. I probably would not be comfortable doing that. So respect my boundary, stay away from that topic. So that's all in the list today. I would love to know in the comments below what you think is a mistake that you've been committing over some period of time now and you want to correct that about yourself. My problem was that I, okay, I have kind of worked on correcting that about myself. But yes, I used to make a lot of this mistake that I would instantly take offense, a lot of offense. I would just be aggressive and, you know, respond in a very inappropriate manner, which I corrected about myself later. I think I don't do it now unless I'm PMSing. <laughs> And that's a separate case altogether. All right, thank you very much. I'll see you again soon. Please make sure you share this video with other people who may be benefited listening to this content. Thank you very much. I'll see you again soon. Bye.